Hello, everybody, and welcome back yet again to another drum playthrough review. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in and stopping by. Great to see everyone here. And for all you who are brand new, hello and welcome. My name is Nick. I'm a drummer and a multi-instrumentalist, and I like to do videos like these, so that way we can take a look at drummers who are much better than we are, break down their content, analyze their technique to a nice and easy-to-digest form, and use that so that way we can become better musicians ourselves and improve ourselves as people, musicians, artists, whatever else you want to say. And we're going to be returning to an absolute Chad today. We've talked about this guy previously in the past. His name is Clay Ashleman. He plays for the very well-known band, instrumental band at that, Polyphia, who has helped to revolutionize modern metal and modern music in general by implementing things such as trap, you know, elements of hip-hop and stuff like that, along with modern, absolutely insane technical guitar playing. A lot of tasty stuff going on in Polyphia songs, I'll say that for sure. I have definitely am very much a, you know, a casual Polyphia enjoyer, one could say. I wouldn't say I'm like a super fan or anything like that, but if there's a Polyphia song that comes on, I'm not going to change the song, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's pretty darn cool. Polyphia's got a lot of interesting stuff, I will say that for sure. So I saw that there was a drum playthrough that was done by Clay Ashleman. It was a playthrough done for playing God by Polyphia, which is a really crazy song. It's a song that I don't mind listening to every so often. It jumps in and out between like the acoustic and the, it jumps in and out between electric and acoustic guitar throughout the song. And it's something that I thought was really cool. So a lot of cool things going on in that song, a lot of cool tones, and I would love to check this out. So I figured why not check it out with you guys and let's go ahead and let's analyze this thing. Talk about exactly what this guy is doing in the video and let's get into it. So without further ado, let's take a look at Clay Ashman and see exactly what this guy has to show us for technique. Before we start though, I check my YouTube analytics as any good creator should, and only about 0.7% of you guys are actually subscribed to the channel. What are you guys doing with your lives? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. We do a lot of fun stuff and a lot of videos just like this on here. We're going to have a lot more fun content coming your way, so stick around. It's going to be a fun, fun journey. All right. Well, without further ado, ladies and gents, let's jump into it and let's take a look and see what Clay is doing in this video, because I, I think he's going to be doing a lot of really cool stuff. He usually does, so let's jump right into it. This is what I'm talking about when I say they've taken influences from like trap metal and hip hop and stuff like that. Very nice and technical. Very cool. He's using a lot of rudiment fragments when he's playing stuff like that. He's using, you know, elements of like paradiddle diddles, paradiddles. Six stroke rolls. Five stroke rolls in there as well from what I can see. Using a lot of good rest technique, fingers as well. I wonder what's about to go on here. This is crazy. This is pretty good. Cross stick, man. You don't see a lot of people using cross stick nowadays. Honestly. Very nice. Oh, tasty. That's beautiful. And he's using the stacks as well. I do love how this is like such a beautiful display of technicality and groove as well. 
such amazing creative writing. Even got some herders in there too, that's pretty good. That's pretty dang good, I will say. Very much a fan of that. Very much a fan of that whole style. I think it's really cool how he can place all that together into a nice little neat package that's, you know, a good perfect combination of technicality, groove, you know, overall just insane creativity. It's, it's absolutely tasteful and phenomenal, and I really do like that. So, without further ado, let's jump into the review. Let's go ahead and take a look at it, and let's see exactly what this dude has to offer, because I think this is, this is going to be real sick. So, without further ado, let's jump into the review, and let's get right into it. All right. Well, Clay Ashleman, let's let's talk about this fella. So, first things first, I will say with Clay, Clay is definitely somebody who's taken a lot of influences. You can tell from things like hip hop, from you know trap beats and stuff like that. A lot of the stuff and a lot of the uh, rudiment fills that he's doing in there are really nice and tasteful. And this comes from years of practice, years of trying out and learning all these rudiments and perfecting them and mastering them and mastering how they sound in order to be able to use them across the kit, across different pieces of the kit, and use them to ultimately spice up your drum playing. There are different ways that you can actually use those rudiments to sound like Clay Ashland, and that is, first of all, practicing them. If you're not willing to practice your rudiments at all, then how are you going to be able to expect to be good at doing rudiments? And one of the key things to you know, being able to use rudiments throughout your drumming and throughout your playing and all that stuff is being able to practice them, being able to play them consistently and play them with perfect timing. And that is only achieved through practice and through lots of practice at it. And that is one thing Clay has done to an exceptional level. Practicing all sorts of stuff like polyrhythms, practicing all sorts of stuff like rudiments, rudiment fragments, you know, even just experimenting and just trying to see, hey, does this rudiment fragment sound good in this song? You know, how does this complement the mix? Because he's not just throwing any old rudiment fill out there. He's choosing specific ones that are going to help complement the song and also make it much easier for him to be able to play it while at the same time keeping a very nice, tight and technical sound. It's all achieved through lots and lots of practice. So what are some ways that you can sound like Clay Ashland? For one, practice your rudiments. For two, practice your polyrhythms. Check out and see, you know, all the different polyrhythms that are out there. Try and listen to them. Try and really feel them. Because really helping to feel and understand them is going to be what helps you to be able to play them to an expert level. Helping to get a good understanding of them by practicing them a whole lot will help you to be able to increase your potential at writing, increase your, you know, creativity when it comes to writing and stuff like that, and overall increase your abilities as a drummer. So just keep that in mind. Just remember that no matter what, ultimately you're not going to be able to sound as good as that unless you practice. So keep practicing, keep on pushing for it, really focus and drill your timing and everything like that, because ultimately that's what's going to benefit you more at the end of the day. And with all that being said, y'all, that's going to be the end of this playthrough review. So great job, Clay Ashman. I thought that was absolutely fantastic. If you like this video, go ahead and, you know, subscribe, leave a like and a comment. Let me know what you guys thought down below. And don't forget to check out my channel where I got other videos that are a lot similar to this. So hopefully you guys will enjoy that. And with all that being said, y'all, that's the end of this one. So thanks for tuning in and stopping by. Great to have y'all here. And I will see y'all in the next playthrough review. So cheers. Have a great rest of your night. God bless.